guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be filming a blue smoky eye with a little bit of green. Um, I took a poll on Instagram and asked whether or not you guys wanted to see a blue smoky eye or an orange smoky eye and blue won by a lot. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing for you today. I hope everyone is really healthy and doing really good right now. Um, I know that the coronavirus is going on really strong right now, so I hope everybody is, you know, staying safe right now. Please enjoy the video. Okay, so first I'm going to go in with the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I love this stuff, especially since I have oily lids and it keeps my eye makeup on all day. Have you guys seen any new movies lately? Um... My boyfriend just got me to finish the Fast and Furious series and I kind of liked it. It's not my favorite series in the world, but it's not bad either. Let me know because I definitely want to watch some new movies. I'm kind of excited for the next one to come out because I want to see how it continues. Um, and talk to me about TV shows too. I really want a new TV show to watch. Right now, I just finished watching the last season of The Bachelor. If you watched The Bachelor, you know that the last season wasn't all it was cracked up to be. Um... It definitely had its twists and turns, but no, no girl. So I'm gonna be setting the primer on my lid with the Kat Von D Locket Powder in Translucent. I've never used this before, so I'm kind of curious to try it. And I'm gonna be setting my lid with the JH07 brush. But yeah, never used this before, so I don't know how it's gonna I usually use the Laura Mercier translucent powder, but I figured I'd give this a shot. Um, but yeah, and then The Bachelor comes out in May, so I'm going to be checking that out as well. This isn't bad. Well, so far. Um, I'll let you guys know how I feel about this after I wear it for a while. I'll try it out tomorrow, too. Because tomorrow I'm actually going to go, uh, tomorrow I'm going to go out with my mom and wear it for a full day while I like, run some errands and stuff. Let so you guys know. know how I feel after a full day of running around um, and stuff like that. Okay, now on to the eye look. So I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Mer Mercury Retro Gay Palette first. I'm going to go in with the shade Haze, right over here. I'm going to take the JH35 brush. Don't you just hate when you can't see and the writing is so tiny and you're just like... Back that shit up. Alright, so now I'm going to take this color and go into the crease. Are so pretty. I love what it does for my eyes. All right, do the same thing on the other eye. Did you guys watch the new Charmed reboot? I didn't. I'm kind of scared to watch it because I love the original. And I just don't know. I'm scared if I watch it, they're I'm gonna feel like they ruined the series. <laughs> I don't know, I'll have to see. Yeah, the original will always have a place in my heart, but I don't know. Alright. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. Let's see these. 
And I'm gonna go in with this shade down here called, oh no, this shade right over here called Jada. Get a different brush. Excuse me. Um, yeah. What did you guys have for dinner tonight? I had pizza and oh my God. It's so good. Yes. Yes. I went to a local pizza place in my city and oh god, they make such good pizza. It was like thin crust, extra cheese, and pepperoni. Ugh. What are your favorite pizza toppings? Or favorite pizza in general? My favorite is white pizza. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's like ragatta, um, mozzarella with no sauce, and garlic. Ugh. If you haven't tried it, you need to because it is that good. And then switch to a different brush because no man. All right, now I'm gonna take this brush. It is called the JH31. By the way, the brush I was using before was JH37. And I'm gonna keep going in with Jada in the crease. Okay, now I'm gonna take the James Charles palette. And a little bit of these two blues over here and put them on my outer corner. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of black later, but I just wanted a little bit of darkness out there for now. Just like for now, before I went in with the black. All right. All right, so now I'm going to take my pencil brush. This is the Morphe JH38, and I'm gonna go in with the Murphy Retrograde palette again. I'm gonna take Haze and Jada, mix them together. I'm gonna go in in my crease and make that color what I want it to be. Cause I want my eyes to be really bright. And really bold. I want it to be like, boom, spring is here. Yeah, that's what I want. Boom, spring is here. You feel me? All right, now I'm gonna go in with yes. the um, Reze palette by Anastasia. I have it in the box so it stays nice. Okay. Mm 
Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with the shade BK right over here. And again, with that brush that we used for the blue, and I'm gonna take the black and I'm gonna put it on my outer corner. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the, just my luck palette from ColourPop. All right. And I'm gonna go in with Mary Jane right in the middle. Pop it right in the middle of my eye. All right, now I'm gonna take my finger and really pack on that color. I wanna make sure my eyes pop because that's what you want when spring is here. Now I'm going to go in again with the Amrese palette and the color Leo, such a pretty color. By the way, the color I'm using to apply these shades is the JH42. It looks like this, very itty bitty. Okay. Uh, going with this shade. And it is so freaking pretty. It does everything for me. All right, now I'm going to make sure I have the desired amount of yellow over here. Cause I want bulk. I wanna make sure my eyes are wide eyed and bright eyed. Yeah. All right, now again, I'm gonna take Haze and Jada. And I'm gonna go into my crease with these two. Yeah. All 
right, now I'm going to take the tiniest bit of pool party and put it over Leo. Make it a little lighter. Mm-hmm. And shiny. It's already very shiny, but I just want a little bit more. Yeah, like that. Ooh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love this. Because, hello. So pretty. All right, now I'm going to... I don't want too much. But yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with foundation. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Cloud. I'm gonna apply with my Damp Beauty Blender. All right. I'm gonna take a pump on the back of my hand um make sure your beauty blender is damp and not too damp you don't want water coming out of it when you squeeze it it's always a good rule of thumb all right i'm gonna dot this on my face I love this foundation. Okay, so if you guys could have one band do a reunion, which band would it be and why? I really want to know. I feel like the band for me would probably be the um, Spice Girls, even though I think that they're doing a reunion concert. I don't know. I love Eminem. Oh my god, he's so good. I don't know if you guys listen to him, but oh my god, he's so good. He just came out with a new song about Godzilla. Oh, so Do you guys like Eminem? Let me know. I listen to him a lot. I even rap along with some of his songs. <laughs> um, Cause I just like him that much. Um, um, let's see. I love the song Not Afraid, that one's so good.
Lose Yourself is really good too. I don't know if I should use the translucent pack. No, 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 I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go in with the Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade Porcelain. I didn't know if I wanted to do that. I was like, no, I'm not going to go in with the, the loose. No. I know this works. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? All right. I'm gonna use this brush. Oh, by the way, that brush was the M218, what I set my under eyes with. Now this brush is the JH01. I'm gonna set my face with this. go in with my contour now. I'm going to use the Makeup Geek. Yeah, the Makeup Geek Contour Powder in the shade Bad Habit. It's right over here. My ear itches. All right. I'm going to take the JH05 brush. Tap off the excess because this powder is pigmented. And I'm just going to carve back my cheeks. I don't bake. Should I try baking with that powder? Hmm. I mean, I bake sometimes and I really want a nice look, but I don't know if I should try baking. Oh no. Hmm. All right, that's good. Yeah, that's good. All right, now I'm gonna go in with bronzer. I'm gonna use the Dream Wonder Powder from Maybelline in the shade Honey Beige. Looks like this. And I'm gonna use the JH02 brush. try baking all right so i'm gonna take again the kat von d locket powder in the shade translucent i'm gonna take the jh10 brush and i'm just gonna carve So I'm gonna take my flat definer brush. Oh, this is the JH43. And I'm gonna take the Amreze palette and the shade BK. That on my the outer part of my lower lash line, just like that. 
Same thing on the other eye. All right, now I'm going to take the James Charles palette from Morphe. All right, and I'm gonna take this color right here. I don't remember what it's called. I don't remember what it's called, but it's this green right over here. And I'm gonna take this brush right over here. It's called it, the JH39. I think it's technically her inner corner brush, but I like it for my under eye because it's softer than her other one. And I'm just gonna kind of blend out that black with this green. Yeah, I want it right under there. The same thing on the other side. All right, like that. Then you're gonna take We'll take the other pencil brush in the JH38. Take the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe and take Jada. Put that in the inner corner. Connected to the black and the green like that. Make sure it's really bright. All right, now you're gonna take Haze from the Huda Beauty palette and put that on top of Jada. like that and take the tiniest bit of Leo from the Amarese palette on the tip of the JH42 and put it on top of that to make it a little brighter like that. Yeah, mm-hmm, pretty, all right. But you're gonna take the James Charles one more time and make that sure the green on the outer corner is really bright. Right, so now I'm going to take my mascara and put that on. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous in Blackest Black. Put that on my lashes. My left lashes are starting to get a little bit better, so I'm kind of happy about that because they start they used to be like down a lot. 
So they're starting to look like my right lashes. Thank God. So now it looks like I have a pair of lashes instead of two different lash styles. Now I'm going to do my lower lashes with the Ultra Volume Nano Mascara from Marcel. So it's easy to do your lashes. I mean, your lower lashes. Wouldn't recommend it for your top ones, but in a, if you're in a pinch and you need it, you know, you kind of can't help it, but... All right, now I'm gonna go in with the blush and I'm gonna go in with the Hamptons Weekender palette and in the shade Summer House, it's right over here. I love this blush, it's so pretty. All right, now, oh, did I scratch something? Nope, all right, now I'm gonna go in with highlight, but first I'm gonna wipe off my bake. All right, it's not bad, it's not bad. All right. Now I'm gonna go in with my highlight, I'm gonna go in with the shade Ice Me Out from Kylie. It's a shade right over here. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my lipstick. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go in with the shade Buttercup from Gerard Cosmetics and the shade White Russian from Buxom. I love this shade, literally my lips, but better. So pretty. Now, White Russian from Buxom. Love a good glossy lip, all right. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with the Make It Last Setting Spray from Milani. I actually need a new bottle of this. Okay, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay safe out there.